Hi students, good morning once again. Welcome to maths class. This is Srinivas from ZHS Double Pour. Okay students, in this in these days and the previous sessions we have learnt about some concepts in circles. What is a circle? What is the radius, diameter? What is the circular region? And uh, what are the segments of a circle? Okay, what is the chord? All these things we have learnt in the previous sessions. Isn't it children? So, in this session also, let us not be late. Shall we start uh, immediately? We will continue the session now with the, the chapter circles from your textbook. Okay, children, look at this uh, picture. Now, see in your textbook, you can see in this circles chapter, what is the semicircle and sector? See, now, today, now we are going to learn about the semicircle and sector. So, what is a semicircle and what is a sector? Of course, you may be knowing, but once again, let us uh, recall that one and let us understand properly and clearly and then we will not be getting any doubts in future. So, what is a semicircle and uh, uh, what is a sector? Now, let us see, this is a circle. Of course, you may be knowing in the previous sessions, everywhere I am showing this circle. That's why it may be printed in your mind. That's good. You should print in your mind all these mass classes. Only then you will get very good marks in the future classes also. Okay. This is a circle. Now, this is the point and second point is given. So, first and second point. I am joining all these two points. This is a diameter. Isn't it? This is a diameter. Yes or no? Already we learnt. If a line joining any two points on the circle passing through the center of the circle is called the diameter. So this is the diameter. So because of this diameter, the circle is divided into two parts. Isn't it or not? This is the first region and this is the second region. If you observe carefully, these two regions are very much identical regions. Of course, equal regions. Isn't it? See, this is the region which is called the semicircle. The same region will be here also. Same, you can get here all, here only, here also. So, once more I will tell you, I will show you. See, semicircle means this region. See, this part is called the semicircle. You may be thinking what is this way and what is this or this and all. You need not worry about this. This is the uh, radius of a circle. This one is no need. We will be, we will going to learn. We are, uh, we will be learning in the uh, future classes. Okay, leave it. So, this is the semicircle. I hope you understood. Half of the circle is the semicircle. And what is the sector? So, what is the definition of a semicircle? You see now, if the chord happens to be a diameter, see, this is the diameter. Of course, this can be called as a chord also. If the chord happens to be a diameter, so this chord is a diameter now. Then the diameter divides the circle into two equal segments. As I said, this diameter divides the circle into two equal segments. So each segment is called a semicircle. So this is one semicircle and this is another semicircle. Let us see what is the sector now. See, this is the part. He is highlighted with the color yellow. Can you see this part which is highlighted? This part is the region which is surrounded by this is one radius and this is another radius. That means two radii and an arc. This is a small minor arc. So, with a minor arc and a two radii, that surrounded region is the sector. Once more, I will show you. Please, children, observe properly. This is the sector. See, this is the sector. The area enclosed by an arc and the two radii joining the center to the end points of an arc is called a sector. So, this is the area enclosed by an arc and also, see, this is an arc and these are 
to ready so with the center it joining from the center to the end points of the arc so this part is called a sector okay children i hope you understood half of the circle is semi circle and some part of the circle with two ready and an arc is called the sector that is semi circle and sector okay uh, next we see what is the next one is parts of a circle okay let me revise what are all the parts we have learned so far okay see first we uh, first first what we learned semi circle parts of a circle sorry now we are going to learn parts of a circle what are the parts of a circle so for what we have learned is for example this is a circle see observe carefully in this circle this one is the center of the circle and the total line which is joining from one end to another end points on the boundary of the circle is called the diameter and from the center to any point on the circle is called the radius and the full length of this boundary line see this boundary line the full length of the boundary line is circumference again i am revising what are all the parts of the circle we have learned till now in all sessions of our um, circles chapter okay center diameter radius circumference all these things and the next one what we have learned is arc see this is an arc the part of a circle on the boundary is an arc and segment this is a segment see this is a chord a chord divides the circle into two two parts and the small part is the minor segment I, we discussed already the small part is the minor segment and this total big part is the major segment so segment is the segment and the next one is the sector sector is surrounded by two radii and an arc that is called the sector so all these things we have learnt in the circles chapter isn't it dear children we will continue to learn again some more concepts are there in this chapter so let us continue to learn again now there is a worksheet for you what is this worksheet this is your ninth class textbook 12.1 exercise 12.1 it may be in 267th page or something i did not write the page number okay exercise 12.1 see the questions given name the following parts from the adjacent figure where o is the center of the circle see this is the center of the circle o is the center of the circle and uh, there are some names given a c x b d and so on so we have to name the given representation see first it is given a o just i will tell you one or two then i'll give you homework a o a o that means from center to the point on the circle what do you call this one it is called the radius isn't it children it is a radius so a o is radius now take a b a b so it is total two points joining two points passing through the center of the circle this is called the diameter so ab is called the diameter isn't it like that you name all the things and this one also true or false a circle divides the plane on which it lies into three parts isn't it or not yes circle divides <coughs> i'm sorry circle divides the plane on which it lies into three parts yes it divides into three parts okay like that you write true or false okay children i hope you understood well so thank you so much for having listened this session also the children i hope you will learn continually and keep watching my math classes always i'll try to give you more and more knowledge from your textbook as well as from outside thank you thank you so much this is srinivas from jetpatches double four i remain thank you